Blue Dolphin here. Today we're going to be getting into the Red Panda Hack the Box machine. Let's talk about it. Jumping right into things here, quick disclaimer, I haven't even touched the Red Panda machine, haven't even turned it on. This is a brand new machine, I'm really excited for it. It has a 3.3 machine rating. This initially tells me that there was obviously some people who didn't like it. And typically, if people didn't like the machine on Hack the Box, it was because it was too difficult for the suggested difficulty. Or I typically find it's because they felt it was CTF like. Or in this case, what I've read from the forums is that people felt there was a big difficulty jump going from the user phase to the root phase. And we can see that with 845 user owns and 473 system owns. So you're really going to need to make sure you jump in Discord, you work with a team or your team, and you get in the forums to get that help to complete the box and get to that final stage. We can see that the machine's been out for four days. We really want to make sure we give a big thank you and a shout out to Woodenk. Give him respect, the machine creator here. I'm going to give him respect myself. There we go. And you can see that Jazz Pizzazz literally pwned this machine in two minutes. Got user blood. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Congratulations. Then over here, Arogur got system blood in 46 minutes. So. I'm not sure what to think of this. That's really interesting. When we look at the name Red Panda, I honestly have no idea what to think about when it comes to what the name could suggest. I have no idea. Maybe like Red Hat? I don't know. I truly have no idea what the name could suggest. I can't even look around online and find anything that's suggestive of what it could be about. So I'm looking forward to it. Let's take a look at the, at the statistics here. So this is pretty common. Typically when people rate a machine, um, heavy on the CTF side, it doesn't get as good of a rating. And you can see here that users really felt this was a CTF like machine. And there was also some custom exploitation, some enumeration, but far from CVE in the real life of things. And you can see people have largely rated this machine the user portion. This is actually quite the even spread between easy to medium, but then you can see the system own is largely in the medium to hard portion so again this might be why the box rating wasn't the best but hey don't let that hold you back there's plenty of help in the hack the box community and if you ask you will receive taking a look at the forums here as i was kind of browsing through i did see several people just voicing that they felt there was a large difficulty gap between the easy and the media machine there were some people talking about templates on the website so this could be a hint towards server-side templates and of course we have the very common type of attack vector server-side template injection there are a lot of people who of course got stuck with privilege escalations and that's fair as well people had also mentioned ch double checking the payloads all things github rebo to help with access on the machine initially a couple things to note for the privilege escalation is one of the users just mentioned look at everything you initially find it's there for a reason so when you run linpeas really look at everything make sure you look manually in all those important folders the home folder the var dub 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 if there's a website your cron job folders your opt folders your etsy folders as well it was suggested on the forums that as far as privilege escalation goes to not use SSH to enter the machine. Try and use a reverse shell as well because it has more privileges. Secondly, once you find something interesting, you will need knowledge of that language. Understand it to know what to do to exploit the J star star. So I don't know what that could mean, but we did see in the statistics here that there is this custom exploitation phase. And I think that's probably what's being suggested here. And lastly, on the forums, it was suggested to check out the J star star output. What can you usually do if it is a web version? Same thing can be applied to this. I kind of have an idea of what they, I think I know what they're saying, but I'm not, actually, yeah, I have no idea. 
Nope, no idea. But anyways, that's a wrap. I'm really looking forward to getting into this machine. I think it's gonna be awesome. Thank you, Hack the Box. And again, thank you to the community members who made this machine and vetted and tested the machine because without them, there wouldn't be Hack the Box. See everyone at the finish line.